welcome gamers to what was possibly one of the greatest games of last generation and unfortunately you can only play it if you had a PS3 or an Xbox 360 and I can tell you now if you haven't it's well worth buying one of the consoles to simply play this epic game from Rockstar which perfectly captured a Sam Peckinpah or Sergio Leone man with no name western better than anything else on the market. But now you have one more option. You can pick it up cheaply and play it through backwards compatibility on the Xbox One. This is a service that just keeps on delivering and allowing you to play old games or even new ones if you never experienced on the original hardware. But is this better than the original or are we looking at sacrifices that we've seen in some other backwards compatibility titles? Well let's take a look. The first thing is, as per all backwards compatibility titles, we're looking at an identical render of the original game. This means the same 720 resolution, the same effects, anisotropic filtering and anti-aliasing solutions in any game, including this one, are pretty much identical. The only benefits you'll get are on the RGB output from the Xbox One, which may change some of the displays on your TV, but overall this is an identical game. The only difference is you have to download a new set of binaries for each title. And with Red Dead requires a 7.5 gig download, which may be slow or fast dependent on your network connection. But after that you get the same title. But does it perform better? Well, it does and it doesn't. There is no surprise here to say that when it comes to cutscenes and obviously GPU work, the Xbox One doesn't struggle with this and sits very solidly at the 30 FPS cap without any issues at all predominantly. The 360 version, due to the fact that it uses a double buffered method, does drop down to 20 FPS quite often in cutscenes. Because the game also runs an adaptive V-Sync on the Xbox 360, it does mean that occasionally it can tear in the top tenth of the screen, which is very hard to notice and doesn't happen very often. This is completely removed, like all the backwards compatibility titles on the Xbox One, running a fully V-Sync solution and also triple buffered. This does mean that delay on response time is slightly slower on the pad, but it's a very minor trade-off and well worth it for a smoother frame rate. This also means that on the Xbox 360, due to the lack of memory space, it can sometimes flip its buffer into a 16 millisecond occasion. But this doesn't happen very often, but it does mean that the peak you see on the Xbox 360 is a high of 31 FPS, but predominantly it sits around the 30 FPS target. But in cutscenes, like I say, the Xbox One certainly beats the Xbox 360. Where it doesn't beat the Xbox 360 is in some of the heavier gunfights. You can see the game drop down to lows of 24 fps in a battle here where the xbox 360 handles it much better and this is obviously no surprise again to come down to the fact that the cpu is having to do far more work here than the original 360 ppc code unlike many xbox 360 can backwards compatibility titles this does cause a little delay but you are looking at a far more solid game overall even with these dips taken into account a lot of this does come down to the hard locks in the cutscenes though which lower the quantity and the quality of the game on the 360 quite heavily. You do get the occasional dips on the Xbox One version also, but these are much more minor and again comes down to the split between double and triple buffered frames. Now overall, this is the best place to play this game if you've never experienced before and if you have it in your catalogue, then you can wheel it out and play it again now, including the Undead Nightmare, which you can also download. As you can see from my heavier test here, I always like to make sure that I give both versions a good run for their money. And wherever possible, I go full on Leroy Jenkins. That's the mode you have to play when you're playing a Wild West shooter. And you've got to get out there face to face and shoot those gringos right in it. Anyway, I hope you guys and girls enjoyed this. If you did, then please hit the like and subscribe button as it really helps me immensely and supports this channel and all of the work that I've put together. Leave all your thoughts and your feedback below. I always like to hear what you have to say. Play fast, play hard and take care. I'll see you on the next one. Leroy Jenkins!
here. Look what I got. There's something that you're still breathing. Come here, boy. Come on, Bessie. Get him. Oh. Norman Deke. Fuck. Nice to see you again, buddy. Thanks for your help, John. Norman here is going to help us get to Bill. Ain't you, Norman? Thank you, Mr. Deke.